hi guys it's joan here welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you step by step on how i made this cup corset you're seeing on your screen so if you want to learn something like this keep on watching and please subscribe to my channel like and share this video so without wasting much of your time let's get right into the tutorial now i'm going to be joining each of these panels you're seeing here so this one here is the front panel so i'm going to be joining each of these panels here so i'm placing it center front middle front and the side front please if you've not seen the part one of this tutorial go and check it out I'm, I'm going to be putting it on my description box okay go and check it out it is well detailed so you understand what i'm going to be doing here so now i'm going to be joining this using the allowances i kept while i was cutting this fabric okay so now i'm joining the center front to the middle front like this and i'm using my pin to help keep it in place i'm going to be joining the middle front and the side front okay so basically i am joining the, the different panels together okay so what i'm joining here is the front please take note if you want to start with your with the back panels to to join please ensure you join the back and finish up the back before coming to the front you don't want to mix up your panels okay so now i am going to be joining the other side of the front piece joining the center to the middle and the middle to the side like this using the allowance i kept please ensure you stick to the allowance if the allowance you kept was 0.75 like i did here please ensure you use 0.75 if it's half inch please ensure you use half of an inch i have finished with the fashion fabric pinning the fashion fabric so what i'm doing here is i'm doing the same thing for the lining piece if you notice i didn't take away these the patterns the panels because i don't want to mix them up I'll do the same thing for the back and show you guys what I have. So after sewing both the front and the back, this is what I have. This is the front part. All right. I joined the front here on the center line. I joined the center parts like this. Okay. So this is the lining here. I'm going to show you the back, what it looks like. So this is what the back looks like. I basically joined the, the tiny pieces you were seeing there. Okay. I joined the front and the back together and this is what i have here for the back i labeled i lab i also label on the back part all right as the back because trust me these patterns they are like you don't want to mix them up okay so now going over to the front now i'm going to be placing the fashion this is the fashion fabric i'm going to, i'm placing it here right side facing each other and i'm going to now use my pin to pin on the center line like this okay on the center front i'm going to use my pin to pin it down here so what i'm about to do here if you've seen the cutting tutorial you're going to understand this part i'm about to doing okay it is not hard so now after pinning the center front i'm going to ensure everything is aligned checking for the sides where i'm supposed to be laying them properly i'm going to i'm just laying them properly to use my pin now and just hold them hold them in place okay now next thing i'm going to do here is that i'm going to be bringing the on um, the panels that i had already used cut used in cutting okay this is these are the panels please don't misplace your panels after cutting because you'll be needing them much later in this tutorial in this video okay so now i am going to be placing these panels like this okay just ensure you follow how you cut this and you know while i was cutting this on the fabric i added the sewing allowance for this for the down part not on the upper part because i had already added the sewing allowance on the pattern while i was cutting so what i'm doing here is i'm indicating the bust line the under bust line and the waistline okay i'm indicating the bust line the under bust line here and the waistline you want to do the same thing okay just follow what i'm doing here so what i'm marking here now is the bust line the under bust line and the waistline now from the center line here i am going to come in here by half of an inch remember when i cut this on my on the pattern this is what i am repeating here okay i'm repeating basically what i did on the pattern so i came in here by half of an inch i'm going to now place place this on the wire on the half of an inch point i came in by and i'm going to simply trace this out okay i am going to simply trace this on the wire onto the fabric just follow what i'm doing here you you want to be very careful in, in this part okay 
trace your underwire. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. I had to use pencil, okay? Had to use pencil to do this, not chalk. Because, you know, I'm working with a white fabric. I don't want to stain it. So, I'm simply tracing this like so. Alright? As you can see here. So, from here now, I am going to be making my extension. Exactly what I did on the pattern. I am going to do the same thing here. From here, I am extending here by one inch. Okay? Then afterwards, I'm going to still add my sewing allowance, which is half of an inch, like this. Okay? So I'm really simply extending that line to the side. Then on the center here, I am also extending by half of an inch. And also add my sewing allowance, which is another half of an inch. Okay? So now I am going to simply extend this line here on the center to meet with the allowance I just added. And I'll do the same thing for the side. Okay? Then now, I am going to be adding the sewing allowance on this part here. This is where the cup will, is, will be sitting, okay? This is where I'm going to be fixing the cup. So, add your sewing allowance, alright? So, I am basically adding the sewing allowance to this part here. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to be cutting this part out and fix the cup. I hope you understand what I'm doing here. So for this part, you really want to be very careful while doing this. Take your time and do this. Please don't be in a haste. Don't, don't rush. Because if you miss this thing, this part here, you're going to miss it all. So now I'm going to be cutting this out and cut this tiny allowance on the upper part out. Watch the way I'm cutting it out. Okay. Okay, now, so this is what I have. This is what I have here. I am going to do the same thing for the lining piece. Okay. And now, I have done the same thing for the lining piece. This is what I have here. This is exactly what I have here. I'm taking off the pins now. Alright, I'm going to open this up for you to see. So, what I just cut out is where the cup will be sitting. Okay. Okay. For this, for the back part here, I am going to be making an alteration also on the upper part. This is totally optional. But for me, I'm going to be doing this on the boss side, on the boss point side. Come down by one inch, okay? On the center back, the upper part, come down here by one inch, okay? And just use a, a, a curvy ruler to connect this to the side. Okay, like what I'm doing here, I came down here by one inch. Like I said, this is optional, but if you can do this, then it's fine. So I'm going to use a slight curve now and curve it back to the, the side. All right, so I'll do the same thing, cut this out to do the same thing for the lining piece also. So this is what I have here. This is exactly what I have here. This is the front. This is where the cup will be staying. Okay, so for the part I cut out, I'm going to be top stitching on the allowance area. Okay, you know, after cutting it out, you're supposed to top stitch around that part so it doesn't lose. So on the side here, I'm going to be joining by the allowance I kept, which is one inch. All right. So I'll do the same thing for the lining piece and show you guys what I have. After joining, this is what I have here. I have gone ahead also to iron this, iron this up. Okay, so this is what I have here. So for it to relax properly, it's either you notch this, the waist part, or you trim it the way I'm doing now. 
so i just thought to trim it i think it's better that way or you notch around the waist part okay so after doing this i'm going to do the same thing for the lining piece on the waist area i'm going to be trimming off this part here this part right here you're seeing here i am going to be trimming that part out because i want to eliminate this pointiness you're seeing around this area here and also i want also want to define the waist area or the hip area so i'm cutting out about 0 0.75 inch away from this and this is what i have here so what i just did here i am going to be doing the same thing on the lining piece okay i'm going to do the same thing on the lining piece also cut away from from the down parts all right i'm going to be cutting away what i just cut on the main fabric here on the lining piece now afterwards i'm going to be attaching the gross grain ribbon on the waist part here so indicate where you have your waist and like what i'm doing here now because right there you're going to be placing the gross grain ribbon like this this is for the waist snatching you actually need to do this so i'm going now ahead now to place this properly and use the pin to pin the gross grain ribbon down to the main fabric okay so as i'm pinning i'm making sure the fashion fabric is not twisted you want to do this as well so just check as you're pinning don't just pin be checking if the fashion fabric is well laid ensure it doesn't come out twisted okay because at the end of the day you want to you want your work to come out very neat and not tacky so just do a neat job take your time and each process you're you're doing check take your time and and do it to achieve a very neat job okay After that, I'm going to, you know, stitch it down to this center line here. I'm going to stitch it down here. And I'm going to be running my boning, boning channels on the allowance here. Okay. So now I'm going to now measure this boning I have here is a quarter inch or a little bit more than a quarter inch. So what I'm going to be using as the boning channel would be 0 0.4, not up to 5 okay it will be 0 0.4 you want your bone to lap properly when you fix it. you don't want it to be you don't want it to be loose you want it to lap properly so ensure you just take your time in this stage right this is you really need to take your time here run a your gather your your boning channel sorry run your boning channel on on, on the side here where you have the side allowance you don't need to run a bonus channel there okay on other parts you're going to be doing the same thing run your boning channel like i've done here i have run the boning channel this is what i have here i have not ironed this yet it's looking all neat so this is what i have i'm cutting out this excess gross green ribbon on the waist part so now this is the front side this is what i have the right side here this is what i have this is looking neat and everything is in place so I am just take, cutting off any thread I'm seeing, dangling thread I'm seeing here, okay? So after doing this, I am going to now take keep this away and cut the cup pattern, okay? To cut the pattern, I'm going to fold this pattern you're seeing here like this, okay? And now I'm going to be folding this cup into two. And I'm going to place it like this and use my pencil now to trace this cup with this folded cup onto the pattern as you see me do here just trace your cup like this i'm trying to trace it and make sure the the pencil is you know the pencil line is visible for you guys to see so this is what i have here and i'm going to now label this cup as label the upper part and the down part you want to label your cup pattern so here is the upper part i'm going to label this as the upper part and here is the down part now i'm going to cut this out
So after cutting this, I label this as the cup. I'm going to bring the second one like this, place it together and use a cello tape to tape this upper part, this part right here. I'm going to be taping it. Okay, here is my tape. I am going to now tape this together. So while you're taping it, make sure one doesn't overlap the other. Okay, tape it, join them together and tape it this way. Now I am going to be marking the where I'm going to be. This is this is going to be a three-piece cup. So if you want yours to be a two-piece cup, you don't need to do what I'm about doing here. All right, this is going to be three piece. If you want yours to be three piece, then you need to do this. So for this center part here, I'm coming down here by 0.75, but I later use two inches for the center part, and on the side I'm using 2.5. So I'm going to be connecting from this 0.75 down to the 2.5 inch on the side. Okay, this is because I want to get the the third piece of this cup. Okay. Like I said, if you don't want a three-piece cup, you don't need to pass through this process I'm doing here now. Alright? So, just using my pencil now to, to ensure I get the curve I want. Okay? And I wasn't too satisfied with it. That's why I'm going ahead now to erase this part on one part of the cup. I'm going to be coming down here by two inches. Alright? You know, initially I came down by 1.75. I wasn't too satisfied that's why I erased it and came down by two inches and on the side is 2.5 inches so what I have here is exactly what I want for the third piece cup okay so I'm now going to go ahead now to label this as the center front and here as the side front and I'm labeled labeling this part also as the up and the down part you want to label your cup you know you don't want to be confused all right so i'm cutting this third piece out as you can see here this is the part i'm going to be using for the upper part and i'm removing this tape here i'll now use this to cut on the main fabric okay i'm going to be cutting these tiny pieces here i'm going to be cutting two each okay so i have cut and this is what i have here this i've added half of an inch allowance on the these tiny pieces you're seeing here each part i added half of an inch allowance all around okay so i'm going to be joining this i'm removing the pin now okay on these two tiny pieces here i'm going to be joining this part here together so while you're cutting please ensure you you indicate where you're supposed to be joining okay so i'm going to be joining this using half of an inch i'll do the same thing for the other tiny piece here that's the second part of the cup and I'm going to be showing you guys what I have next. After joining, this is what I have. So this is how it is. This is the, the inside. I have already opened, opened the seams and iron. So in order to avoid the bulkiness on this part, I went ahead to trim the seams out okay i went ahead to trim the seams out because i don't want it bulky around that joining area so this is what i have i'm going to indicate the upper parts and the upper part this is the upper part here i'm now going to up bring this the third piece here and i'm going to be notching the center piece I'm going to fold this into two right sides facing each other and i'm going to be notching the center so i'm going to place this you know i labeled the center front and the side front on this third piece here please ensure you take note of that where you have the center front on the cup please place it also where the two pieces you join together where you have the center front place the center front of the third piece of the cup on the two parts you join okay the two pieces you join together and go ahead now and place you pin it down and sew by half of an inch okay sew by half of an inch so i'm going to take this to the machine and sew by half of an inch and do the same thing for this other part of the cup after sewing this is what i have here i have gone ahead to iron this part as you can see this is looking all neat 
I'm now going to also trim off this seam here I have after joining the third piece of the cup. Okay, I'm going to trim off the seam like I'm doing here in order for me to have a flat cup. All right, I'm going to place it here. Also, notch the center, the center, the midpoint of the cup like this on the upper part. And I'm going to place the right side. Also, notch the cup part like this. After notching, I'm going to place the notch part that is the right side of the 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 cup that I join facing the wrong side of the cup. Okay, facing the wrong side of the main cup. And I'm going to go ahead to use my pin now to keep it in place. Okay, just pin it down, hold it down with your pin. And I'm going to be sewing by a quarter of an inch. I'm sewing with a quarter of an inch because after sewing, I'm going to have another quarter of an inch showing inside the cup. Okay, I'm going to have another quarter of an inch sewing on the wrong side of the cup okay so i'm going now to sew by a quarter of an inch after sewing i'm going to show you guys this is what i have join this after sewing i've i put this in place and i'm going to be showing you what i'm going to be what i did here on the other part of the cup okay what i did here now i'm going to be showing you how i did it on this part as you can see, this is what I have. I'm going to simply turn it over this way, right? And as you're turning it, please ensure if the cup laps, okay? Ensure you don't have anything folding. And use your pin now to pin it down. After pinning it down, take it to your machine and run a stitch, a tiny stitch on this part, pressing the cup and the fabric together, all right? So I'm going to do that and trim off the excess. So for this part here, for this, this is the lining piece for both the front and the back. I'm going to now use this sewable boning here, this regiline boning. I'm going to be using it on this part here, on the back part here. This is where I'm going to be passing the eyelet, okay? So on the back part here, come in by half of an inch and place your boning on the top part. Come down by half of an inch. That's where you start placing the boning. And on the down part, take away half um, a 0 0.75 or 1 inch. Okay, like I've done here, I have already placed the boning. So this is what I have. I'm going to now place both the front and the back together like this. Both the front, that is the fashion fabric and the lining. Okay, I'm going to be placing it together like this and I'm going to be sewing the top part by half of an inch. Sew the middle part here by half of an inch and on the side as well, on the top part on the other side, sew by half of an inch. And on the side here, I'm going to be sewing by half of an inch and on the other side, sew by half of an inch. So I am done sewing. This is what I have. I have already turned this to the right side. This is what I have here. I've placed the lining and the fabric, main fabric together. Okay. I have ironed this so now I'm going to be fixing the cup around here I'll do the same thing for this part I'm going to show you guys what I have after fixing the cup after fixing the cup this is what I have okay you can see the cup is sitting pretty well this is what I have everything is looking all clean I'm now going to top stitch this part here okay I'm going to use another fabric or that I cut about 1.5 inch width and a long strip of fabric and the width is 1.5 inch i'm going to be folding it this way or you see that you fold it this way or you turn it this way and you know fold it this way and i'm going to be pipe using it to pipe the the cup part here to cover up the seam and also serve as a channel for the underwire hope you understand what i'm doing here so i place this tiny piece inside the cup like this I'm going to be stitching this by a quarter of an inch then after that i'm going to be turning this over and i'm going to be making a top stitch on that part so i've done that this is what i have here this is what it looks on the inside it's looking all clean and neat so this is what i have on the outer part i've created i have piped the the cup and i also serve as the the channel for this underwire you're seeing here so for this underwire, there is this part that is longer than the other part. For the part that is longer will be on the side. And the part that is shorter will be 
on the middle part the center part so go ahead and fix your underwire like what i'm doing here so after fixing the underwire i'm going to fix this other part also this other underwire off camera because i was actually running running fast to finish this video it was taking too long so now i'm going to be placing the the boning on the fabric and i'm i've i've placed the boning like what you've seen me done here this is looking very neat guys and i went ahead to pipe the 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 the, the down parts as you can see here i've piped the down parts this is looking very neat okay so do your own the way i've done follow each step and while at it please take your time to achieve a neat job see the way i piped the down part this is looking very neat and see the way the boning is sitting pretty well you know is sitting tight on the dress thank you so much for watching this video see you in my next one